Hi, it's question time again. And this one says, there seems to be an increasing number of environmentalists saying it's too late. What do you think? Well, the problem is we don't know. Um, systems are inherently unpredictable. Um, the global system is something, you know, the human brain has never had to figure out what's going on on that kind of scale before. You know, this evolved, this amazing thing in our heads um, evolved to be able to remember where things were in a forest environment, probably, you know, what times of year to find things, to um, basically take the senses, our sensory experience of the world and reward us for doing what nature required us to do, to do the right things, to to survive and thrive that environment. And we've never had to think on a global scale before. You know, we've been thrust this creature that's evolved in a very kind of localized context into this global stage and being given the tools to make a difference, to change things on that scale. So it's really challenging because it seems we can change the climate. We've seen, we certainly can see the evidence of plastic that we've been producing in the oceans, how it's affected life on earth. Um, it seems that we are putting, well, we know we're putting carbon into the atmosphere and it seems that that is having an effect on global weather and temperatures and so on. Um, but we don't know, you know, tipping points are quite tricky because it's, it's not clear where those tipping points occur. You know, they might be very close by, they might be quite some long way in the future. And all we can do, all scientists can do is extrapolate, to make models to extrapolate possibilities of the different levels. And you know, weather forecasting has got pretty good uh, over the last couple of decades with computer models and so on. So there's some evidence to say that we can make a fairly good guess about what might happen. But then at the same time, when you talk to weather forecasters, they say, well, you know, the slightest change in this thing might make this other thing happen. And so we think 19 chances out of 20, it will happen like this, but this other thing happens and it will be completely different. So essentially we don't know. And I think all the time we don't know, of course, there is a point in trying to do something about it. We don't, we don't know whether action now will make a difference to the future, our future generations, uh, the young people who are standing up now to try and say, you know, let's, we need to do something about this because you're in charge now, but you won't be here when we're inheriting the earth that you're creating now. So, um, so yes, um, whether it's us humans making the climate change, whether it's the sun doing interesting things, and there was plenty of evidence to suggest that the sun is in some way contributing to uh, what's happening on the Earth's weather now. We know that space weather can create um, effects on Earth. It doesn't really matter what's happening, if it's happening, if it if something might happen in the future that would be catastrophic, then why wouldn't we try and do something about that? So for me, doing what I do, I feel I have to feel optimistic about the future. Um, I think in part because I meet lots of people of a like mind who are also wanting to make a change. And when you get into permaculture and you start doing creative things, when you start assembling ecosystems to meet our needs and to create beauty in the landscape, then how can you not be optimistic and feel joy there? And even if things do go horribly wrong in the long term, why, why spend a long time worrying about it? We can, worrying for me is something that we do it's a, an emotion to make us think, I need to do something about it. You know, to worry and to not do, not act, is going to just create more worrying. So why not say, okay, yes, this might happen and that could be bad. Let's do something about it. what can I do as an individual right now to make a difference to the future and to make a difference to now and to the people around me and the world that I inhabit. And so for me, permaculture gives us the tools to make a difference now and hopefully the difference that we make now will make a positive difference in the future.